Namaste programs. Welcome to some footage I took of the early beta of Worms Rumble. In my infinite wisdom, I didn't actually record my commentary. So I'm doing this after the fact. Uh, I played a couple of games. Didn't feel like playing much more than this. I used to love Worms. Uh, but this is a whole new way of doing things. It's a uh, 2D. I just blew myself up there. A uh, 2D. What, what would you call it? Battle Royale. I mean, it sort of feels like worms. You do have to. Uh, you've got the same kind of weapons, like the banana bomb there. But yeah, it's not. It's not worms. I prefer the turn-based stuff, and it, this is just sort of action. You know, I'd rather play a first-person battle royale, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it took me a while to get used to the the controls and everything. They were a little bit weird, but um, it seemed to be. You know, quite often I felt like I was shooting or blowing up someone didn't really feel like they were losing health or maybe they were and I couldn't really tell this was the beta so they're not sure where it's at I don't even know if the game's out but I was looking for content today to put on the channel and this was sitting there staring me at the face I thought I'll get rid of it so I liked that you could um you could be hidden while going through those vents and things. Um, you obviously only show up in line of sight to everyone else. Here I am trying to shoot people with no ammo. Go oh, me. Um, you can melee or shoot the anything that's red like that and it'll, it'll destroy. There was only one map, this one. Um, that was pretty fun. There was a few little hidey holes to find. Um, this whole thing in the section, I never figured out how it worked, but other people did. You can do some objectives somewhere on the map to, uh, to launch this rocket, and then the map sort of changes a bit. And then in that sort of middle section, you can you sort of float up and down. Here I am trying to shoot people with no ammo again. Um, if you jump, uh, you can jump, you sort of stick to the walls, then you can jump again, but if you stay long enough, you fall down. But that means you can basically jump anywhere you want. It takes a little bit of skill, but uh, yeah, you're not basically flying, and you do need to, in order to gain height, you're going to need to climb walls somewhere. But um, You're right there. I think I, I felt like I was shooting, or maybe it's because I was dead, didn't even know I was dead. In terms of the main thrust of this channel, as in, is it zen? Is it relaxing? Is it meditative? Um, yeah, I mean, it's not particularly sweaty, you know? It's just a little bit of fun. You can just wander around. It's nice and colourful and playful and, uh, you know, it's not stressful at all. Um, it was a bit stressful, I guess, in trying to figure out why things weren't shooting and whatnot. But um, eventually, you know, I figured get out a few things like you finding out where the the spawns are and you want to collect all these crates here because they give you um I don't know why I didn't collect that one I think someone was coming boom he just rocket launched me you scum I'll get my revenge spoiler alert probably didn't get my revenge respawn time was a bit obnoxious I mean why let's just get back into it get straight back into it Zip lines honestly seemed a bit useless, just I guess you could use them to attack, zoom along, fire your rocket launcher. In the end, like, the rocket launcher was the gun you had to get. It's a 2D aim with the mouse, move with the uh, keyboard, yeah, really, you know, for someone as old and potato as me. Trying to get precision shots at the right angle and everything. Well, I would have taken more practice. This was just my first game, obviously. 
No, I killed someone there. See, I just fire the rocket launcher randomly in a direction, and people die. So yeah, you know, I think the shotgun was pretty powerful. I don't remember anything else. Got the assault rifle here. These stairs stop you from moving quickly. That was fun. Oh, boom. And boom. And boom. See, we're both shoot uh, well, I don't know actually how I survived that one. He was shooting me. I was shooting him. And, um, yeah. I think I had an armor. There's armor. There's health. You want to be, you know, going into every fight with as much as both as possible, obviously. Uh, this was like the first few days of the beta, so people didn't really know what they were doing. I pretty much, I think in the second game, I was winning fights just basically because I was the only one who bothered to go find some armor. It did seem to make a huge difference, as you'd expect. Uh, he dipped. Tried to juke him here, and he's gone. Don't know where he went. Where are you? Oh, he must have gone down the here. Uh, there's a line there. I think we'll just, uh, I'll just show you this whole first game, and then the second game, I think I played two, might have been three, we'll see. Been a while. Been sitting here in my, uh, to do, to edit folder for a while. It was about a month ago, I think, this beta. In fact, I'm looking, it's two months ago. Name of the file is 15th of July. And we are the 10th of September as I record this. So yeah, we'll watch the, the first full game and then I'll edit down the other games to just be the fights because it is a little bit uh, quite surprisingly for a game like this, you'd think it'd be much more fast paced. There is a lot of just wandering around picking up stuff, trying to get up to speed. Boom. He was ready for me, but I still I still hit him. I didn't kill him though. Well, that was a clever grenade by him, I think. Whatever blew me up there. He's gone again. People were, were very quick to dip. I was like, it's just a fun little let's just kill each other game. Play and fight, my dudes. Oh, he tried to, yeah, nice try. Tried to put a banana down that grate. There's another one. He's trying to, he's trying to banana me. He's chucking them bananas. Great grenade by me. We're trying to figure out how to throw grenades properly and all of that. Whoa, got launched. Myself up nearly there. That seems to be very much a problem in my gameplay. In that, if there was a way to kill myself, I found it. Well, damage myself at least. I think, what, have I managed to kill one person this whole game? Did well, did well. There are a lot of little sort of, you know, just given it was 2D, you wouldn't think there were that many places to hide things, but there were you know, like those bathrooms there. Boom, rocket came from nowhere. Everything's on fire, I'm on fire, they're on fire, I blew myself up there, they blew me up. 
Nice. That was game one. Let's see how I did. Oh, four and three. Well, for the first game, that's not too bad for an old Papega like me. Welcome to Worms Rumble. All right, as promised, here's a game two with just the action, less running around, just trying to pick stuff up. As you can see, I basically just want the rocket launcher. Really need to aim at that. Don't know what I was thinking there, just taking bullets to the face and the back. There we go, hit myself with my own grenade again. Did pretty well there. Doing the old reverse, keep reversing strat, keep reversing, you can't get me if I'm reversing. Managed to get some health up, and then it was someone else and killed me. The janitor. The janitor. Yeah, the mall janitor came and killed me. Alright, this is that uh, event I was talking about. I don't know what triggers it, whether it's just something happens. The rocket goes up into the air, and then this whole middle section has some bouncing pads that you can then uh, have some pretty cool fights on, which you'll see in a little bit. There we go. Bouncing up and down, people jumping all over the place. Me with my new heal, heal at all at any opportunity strat. Managed to kill myself again, I think, there. This guy came zooming in like a wrecking ball. I think I'm doing more damage to myself than he's doing to me, but hey. That's how good I am. A little fight in the food court. I was throwing grenades like it's going out of fashion. Like come at yes, why? Why did he uh why did he decide to face me there? And then I took a grenade to the face. We go shoot the floor for a bit. Oh if only that grenade if only that banana had gone into that vent. The world would have been a happier place. I tried, I did. Okay, this is a fight I can't possibly win, surely. Yep. Killed by the environment, apparently. Guy was not ready for me. But he manages to live, even though I'm firing everything I had at him straight into his face. Finally. Finally managed to kill him. Here we go, here's the jumping. Little sort of jumping pads at the bottom here, which means you can just sort of have fun floating around, buying rockets and shotguns and with everyone. Of course, it makes actual hitting people really difficult. Yeah, everything's on fire, but nothing's getting damaged. Honestly, I thought I died there. There was just, it needs to be some kind of better indications of when you die. And when you kill, basically feel exactly the same. It's you know it's not immediate that the the kill card comes up, so right, you know you're sort of dead already before that. No, no, it went immediately that time. Don't know what I'm talking about then. Yeah, I thought I was dead well before that card came up. Maybe I wasn't. Maybe I just thought I was. There was plenty of times I thought I was dead, and it turns out I'm just standing there. And I was like, oh, I'm not dead. Why am I not dead? I mean, lots of damage, and I felt like I wasn't moving around anymore. But, it might just be some sort of lag. Another crazy fight on the jumping pads. You're trying to hit people that are flying past at a million miles an hour. Now, I mean, I got. I was hitting that guy as soon as he was available. He walked through me while I'm shooting him and he managed to kill me. So that was a bit weird. I am even failing with a shotgun. But I'm happy to hit someone with the shots, but no, I'm just slowly getting hit picked off by shotgun port pellets that are flying through the air. And that was it, okay?
More kills, getting better at killing, but more die deaths, so getting better at dying too. That is the way. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little look at uh, Worms Rumble back in the beta. I'm not sure if it's out, I'm not sure if it's coming out, I probably won't care. Because, you know what, it's a bit fun, but not really my thing. So, until next time, thanks for watching, bye bye!